Hello, shalom, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine, for those of you who don't know me. And, and I'm the West Coast Vegan. <laughs> Today I'm going to be filming a vegan couples Q&A with Mitch. Um, I get a lot of questions about Mitch or about us, so I just thought it would be nice to film a video answering some of your questions. Question one. Were you both vegan when you first met? Um, no. No. No, we weren't. I've been vegan for four years now and you have been vegan for two? Two. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and we've been dating for six years, so there's two years before that. Oh my goodness. The next question is, who went vegan first? Uh, I, I, we already answered that, but I've been vegan for four years, okay. and Mitch has been vegan for two. And I would like to say that I played a part in that. <laughs> um, and yeah, same question. Next question is, how long have you both been vegan? So four years and two years. Are you and Mitch both on a fully vegan diet? Um, yes. I was vegetarian for a year before going vegan, but um, when you decided to go vegan... I was vegetarian for like a couple a months. month or two. Yeah. I can't do things halfway. <laughs> no, but we've both been fully vegan for pretty much the entire time. Um, I know a lot of people do like vegetarian or maybe have like cheat meals. Like we have a friend who's kind of vegan during the week and then if he goes out he might eat chicken or fish. Um, so it's like really do whatever works for you but for us um, eating a fully vegan diet has been the best thing. Okay the next question is how many days a week do you work out and what type of workouts do you do? I would say that we both work out probably f at least four or five times a week. Mm -hmm. It's a little challenging sometimes in school. Yeah, it depends on the week, but it's like generally four to five times a week. Yeah. And what type of workouts do we do? So I do a lot of like circuit workouts. Um, I like doing like running, trail running. Um, I do just a lot of resistance training, um, yeah. like free weight stuff. And he has an injured shoulder, so yeah. he does a lot of like... Um, I do a lot of shoulder rehab stuff. Yeah. I've got surgery on the shoulder. So. And we've also, we really want to get more into yoga this year, so um, we also like to do that. We, we do like yoga at home, but we really want to get more into like actually going to a studio and going to classes. Yeah. Two times a week, that's the goal. Yeah. yeah. That is the goal. Okay, the next question is how many calories does Mitch eat in a day? So we've actually done a what I eat in a day, um, like what he eats in a day. And I'll link that up above here. You can go check that out. But wait. yeah, usually um, probably anywhere from 3,500 to 4,500. Yeah. yeah, like I'm starting right now about 3,500, but I'm going to try to put on a little bit of weight, so I'll be increasing throughout the next few months. But most of it, his calories come from like grains and um, like he eats tahini, nut butter, seeds. A little bit of protein powder, like some days you might Yeah, some I'll probably start it. doing like maybe one scoop a day, but not mostly just because of its convenience more than anything. Yeah. I'm a very convenient eater. I don't, uh, I like cooking, but when I'm in a rush to do things, I always try to yeah. do things most convenient. So shakes are really helpful for me. But definitely lots from like carbs. So don't be afraid to eat carbs because as long as they're from like good whole sources, it's really not a bad thing. The next question is, what is the best way to increase muscle mass and boost testosterone levels for vegan diets? The soy in my diet can make this challenging. One thing I do want to say about soy is a lot of people, there's like misconceptions about the phytoestrogens in soy and people often confuse those with real estrogen, but like the, the effects that phytoestrogens have on your body are so minimal in terms of like a hormone response and they're actually protective against certain diseases so I think the ratio of like uh, phytoestrogen to estrogen is like 1 to 10,000 times or something yeah. it's, it's not even and if you're really worried about eating soy and you're consuming meat and dairy products like you're getting real hormones in those type of products so Soy, as long as it's non-GMO, it's actually quite healthy for you and it is a really good protein source and the source of so many other things like calcium and, and all that. So I wouldn't worry too much about the soy, but best way to increase muscle mass and boost testosterone? Um, I think just in general of uh, 
ways to increase muscle mass would be resistant weight cell training and then a caloric um, surplus. Yeah, day. like making sure you're eating enough because it can be hard on a vegan diet. Like, especially with him, he has to eat, like he's full a lot because you can eat so much and it's so much less calorie dense when you're eating plant-based versus... Especially, well, when you do have a heavy meat-based diet, you're getting a lot of uh, saturated fats as well, which have a, a you know, nine calorie um, per gram uh, ratio. Yeah, yeah. So um, when I did stop eating meat, I would have a lot, you know, you're having four calories per gram. It's a lot harder to get that quality or quantity, rather. Um, so I would have to eat quite a lot to that. Yeah. Quite a lot more. So now I've been starting to eat a little bit more nut butters and uh, seeds and nuts because it's a lot easier to get to uh, increase calories. Plus they're so good for you. And they're really good. But I, honestly, I would say to like boost testosterone, I don't know if it would necessarily boost it, but just taking out animal products from your diet because like we said, you're getting the hormones from the animals and they're not meant for humans. Mm -hmm. So just taking that out of your diet will help you like get to your natural levels. And then yeah, I, I wouldn't say that we've done extensive research on specifically uh, how to boost testosterone meat versus a plant-based diet. Um, what I can say from myself personally is I do get my blood tested, which includes my estrogen and um, testosterone every three months. Um, and since I did stop eating a plant-based diet, my testosterone hasn't necessarily gone up, but it definitely hasn't gone down. It's gone up like maybe a couple points. Um, but it definitely hasn't decreased or anything like that. So yeah. that's just from my personal experience. But there's definitely a lot of research out there that uh, can talk about that. I'll try to find some study and get Maybe link, link it, it. yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so the next question is, do you guys go out and drink much or do you try to avoid drinking? So, yeah, I mean, we used to go out and we used to drink and like kind of party quite a bit more yeah I like now. yeah we I used to drink quite a bit um, yeah I would say now like we just don't really find we don't really want to do it as much and we don't really find ourselves like leaning towards doing that type of thing like going to a club on the weekend we would just rather like go out for a nice dinner and like go to a movie or like spend quality time with our friends versus like going out it's funny too once you start feeling so good I noticed this when I started eating a lot better and caring what I put in my body is you'd feel so good and then you'd have a day of drinking and you'd feel terrible like me personally I'd feel terrible for two three four days mm -hmm. and now I get hung over so quickly so it's just not even worth it for me we're not saying it's bad to go out and drink um, like if that's what you like doing then definitely do it and that's not saying that we don't occasionally have like wine or beer stuff like that but on the whole we just don't really go out and like get wasted and party and stuff like that because we just don't really have a desire to do that anymore. No, and then I, I, when I go out I sleep in and then I don't get stuff done and it's, yeah. I like to try to use my time really wisely now. I think we would just rather spend like quality time where you're talking face to face with your friends and like go out for a nice dinner with them or with each other so that's kind of our view on it but again whatever works for you. Okay, the next question is what is your favorite snack? Oh, this is really hard for me. Um, I really like date bombs where you like open up the date and then put peanut butter on the inside. I, I personally really like any like baked goods too, like any sweet thing or fruit. I'm really, yeah, I'm just, I, like, I have a really big sweet tooth. I like savory foods. I think for me, I don't really have, I don't often avocado. snack. Yeah, I was gonna say my, probably my snack would be avocado toast. Yeah, but I, have that I don't so know if that's much. necessarily it's a snack. It's not technically but... a snack, but it's really quick and I make it a lot. Okay, and the final question is, what superheroes would you both be? Hmm. hmm. I think I'd, I, well, I'd probably be Catwoman because I love cats so much. And she's pretty badass. Oh, I would be Thor. Oh, for Thor's sure. cool. Yeah, you could have chosen Wonder Woman. That's way cooler, but... I don't know if I want to be Wonder Woman, though. I said Catwoman? Yeah. Okay. Isn't she enough? Is she a superhero? I'm going to go or with Catwoman is a superhero because she's freaking Okay guys, so that's all the questions that we got. We had a lot of fun filming this. I hope you found some good information in this Q&A. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification button so you get notified when I um, post my videos. Just do it, please. Just do it. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's all that we have to say. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.